When I'm talking about benchmarks, I'm talking about the basic things that we all need to conduct our daily lives. And first and foremost, the personal security of every citizen in Iraq. My Democratic opponent said something so painful to hear, that we need to secure, make sure that every citizen in Iraq is secure. In Iraq! We're in America. We're supposed to elect representatives to protect the rights of Americans. Now, why would we not, uh, say, negotiate with, with the drug companies? Well, think about it. What negotiation happens? You're the federal government. You're it. Take it or leave it, drug company. You know what happens, don't you? Under Medicare, we tell you what you get, take it or leave it. You don't get to negotiate because we're so big. If you notice, my Republican opponent is essentially making the cl claim, the case, that it's great that we have a federal government that's a monopoly because they can set prices and you have no one to negotiate with. Um, that, that's absurd. Um, the United States Postal Service is a monopoly. Has it been the most efficient engine of delivering mail? They used to say that they can't possibly physically deliver mail overnight. Then FedEx came along. Um, Just a short rebuttal, real short. We have 17 companies in this. We don't have one company. We don't have a government monopoly. We have competition, just like you would like. I would like free okay. competition. I don't, we <laughs> don't right, want I you to tell me which companies can compete and which cannot. In the middle of this conflict, when Chris Shays was asked when we'd be withdrawing troops, his response was, how long have we been in South Korea? There's also a very interesting article, at least I think it's an interesting article, because you'll understand it's from CQ. The article that uh, Congressman Shays is citing is dated May 1st of 2004. When I came back on my 13th trip, I said, we may have to consider leaving Iraq prematurely. On the 3rd of August. This year, Chris said to National Public Radio to have a timetable would be, and I quote, absolutely foolish. I am personally sick and tired of hearing who said what, when, in the past 3, 4, 10, 20 years. I don't care. The question is, how do we get out of Iraq? But you need to take the diplomatic stance. Now, what I have proposed repeatedly is a political and diplomatic solution. Political solution. Both of my opponents propose a political, a diplomatic solution. Let's sit down, sing, have some good times. You guys don't agree? Well, let's just split it down the middle. No? Or I have a little more. Come on. Well, we'll chip in. That's where it ends up, political solution. We will be paying. What's a political solution? You can't have a political solution without might behind it. You can't have diplomacy or negotiation unless one of two things happens. Either it's purely voluntary, and that does not seem to be the case with the Shias, Kurds, and Sunnis, or there's might behind it, as in the forced arbitration, as people may well be familiar with in civil litigation hearings and others. If, if, it's, if you don't come to a decision, then people with guns will come to a decision and enforce it. That's the only time you can have a political solution is when there's guns behind it. I don't want our guns or our lives or our money in Iraq. I want to come home.